Hey guys, this is Peter from MyJewelryBench.com and today we're looking at another watch. Uh, this watch, we're going to take a quick look at, is another common repair that I have on uh, even a lot of newer watches. Uh, I'm using this as an example because pocket watches are obviously a little larger and we're easier to see, but if we look closely, you can see that the, uh, the balance wheel wiggles around and that's an indication that the uh, balance staff is most likely broken and there's a possibility that a, a jewel or two might be broken I'd say maybe one out of ten times when I have a broken balance staff I do have a broken gem so it's not as common as most people think what we're going to do today is we're going to fix the uh, we're going to replace the balance staff on this balance wheel and that entails taking the balance cock out with the balance wheel removing the balance wheel and hairspring from the balance cock. We're going to examine the jewels. We're also going to remove the hairspring from the balance wheel and balance staff, the original. We're going to match the staff with a new one, uh, remove the old one, put the new one in and make sure that it is balanced properly and in round. Once we get that done, we'll put everything back together and we'll test it. So let's get started. Okay, so I've removed the balance cock from the watch. I've examined the, the uh, balance jewel on the plate, and that's fine. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to remove the balance wheel and hairspring from the balance cock. As I've shown you in previous videos, there is a screw that holds the uh, pin for the hairspring in place. We're going to unscrew that very gently. I'm going to use a small screwdriver. I'm going to get in there and loosen up that screw. And then the balance wheel should pop out with the hairspring attached. I'm going to take a quick look at this under the microscope and we're going to see if it's got any damage to it. Okay, luckily the balance cock, the upper, what we call the upper balance jewel set, is fine. Just a little dirty, so we're going to have to clean that out before we're done with this. We're going to clean this uh, watch in another video, so we're not going to get too far into cleaning that. The next thing we have to do is remove the hairspring from the balance wheel and that gets pried out ever so gently. I tend to use very small uh, pry tools and these work well 99% of the time. So we're going to get in here and see if I can hold that in place. I'm going to use a thin one. I'm just going to get under that hairspring and try not to do any damage to the hairspring. I'm just going to wiggle in there back and forth and eventually this hairspring should come right up. Nice and gently. There's our hairspring and it looks to be in good shape. It needs to be cleaned and demagnetized. I'll put that in the parts tray. Okay, so the balance staff, the hairspring has been removed. Now we have the roller plate or the roller table and that has the roller jewel on it. Um, in another video we showed how we replace these roller jewels. What we're going to do is we're going to pop this table out. Uh, the roller table needs to come off so we can get the staff off the balance wheel. Let's get ready for that part. Okay guys, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using our stake set and we're going to be using this nifty little tool. This is a roller table remover tool. It's a set that you can get. Um, you can buy these new or used. Uh, most of my tools I've purchased from Estates. Uh, the ones that are really good that I like to use every day. We're going to use that and we're going to be using our stake set. So the stake set is, is an important part of a lot of watchmaking because you're going to put in tools that are going to be uh, you're going to be using tools on parts that need to be pressure fit and the stake set allows you to do that. I'm going to try to get some good video of us removing the uh, roller table on this and that should come out pretty good. Uh, take a look at the inside of this. Okay, so getting a good view of our roller table remover set we have um, different size claws 
and then these little pins, these little stakes, if you look close enough you'll see that they have little holes in them and that's so that you can put them into a staff if you're removing a good staff uh, at this point we're, we're not too worried about that because the staff we're going to replace is bad but we're going to need these anyway so these little tools come in handy um, the most common size I use is this claw here and uh, this is the one we're going to be using to remove this roller table from this balance wheel is we have to get our uh, staking set ready we're going to put the roller table remover into the claw then we're going to put that the claw into the stake set uh, a lot of times these need to be adjusted it comes with these handy little tools what we're going to do is find this little hole here you put that in and as you turn this wheel the claw if you see will loosen and tighten so I'm going to turn this and you should start to see that claw tighten up and what we need to do is get that under enough pressure so that we can pop the uh, the roller table off okay so with that done grab a set of tweezers we don't want to damage the roller table because it does have the roller jewel in it so what we're going to do is we're going to We're going to take the, the balance wheel and we're going to insert it into the roller table remover with the claws between the roller table and the spindle on the balance. So we get it like that and if we look closely we're supported on the roller table. Now I'm going to grab the corresponding stake. I'm going to put that in so that we get to just want to get the very tip of the staff and let's get this in here let's see if I can do this ever so carefully there we go so the little hole at the end of the stake is on the balance staff pinion and what we have to do now is just grab a small brass hammer and here's my brass hammer okay and I'm gonna tap on the top very 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 gently and it's gonna force the roller table off of the staff Okay, now let's take a look here. There's our balance wheel, and the balance wheel has had the roller table removed. Let's grab our roller table. The roller table is in perfect shape, so we're going to put that in our parts tray. And that's it, that's all we use this for. So I'm going to take this, put this back in the roller table remover case and we're going to prepare for the next step okay for this step we're going to use the uh, stake set again and what we have to do is find a stake set that holds our staff but allows the staff to fall through so I'm going to move this out of the way if you look I have this pin here for the stake set and you see it has a hole in it and what we want to do is make sure that let's see if I can get a close-up of this this rim here on the bottom of the staff or on the bottom of the balance wheel will fall through that little hole if it doesn't which in this case 
It does not. We're going to move up to the next larger one. And that is right here. And that still is too small. So we're going to go one size larger. And there we go. Okay. Let's get that stake set back in position. Now, now what we're going to do is, because this is, well, let's get, because of the way the balance staff is designed, this is the underside of the balance wheel. And this is a little pressure pit plate on the balance staff itself. So we have to force this staff out of the balance wheel. So we're going to turn it around so that it's sitting here just gently like that. We're going to take a staff remover pin. So grab one. There we go. I'm going to push that down. If I can get a good video of this on top of the balance staff just like that again we're going to take our little brass hammer and we're going to gently tap until the balance staff comes completely off the balance wheel and there it is it's gone now where to go we're going to lift up our balance or our stake set and there is the broken staff now we're going to match the staff find a new one and get prepared to put it in the balance wheel. Before we go on to change the balance staffs, I wanted to compare the broken staff with the new staff. So in the picture here, you can see the top staff is the new one and the bottom is the old one that's broken. And you'll notice on the right side of the broken staff, it's missing part of the little tip. That's the uh, part of the pinion that's gone. So we'll be using the new staff to put into the balance. The next two uh, animations that I've done show basically how the balance staff and the balance wheel fit together. And they also show the staking set that we'll be using. This is a rounded curved uh, stake set or a stake with a hole in it that you push over the top of the balance staff onto the collar and tap down with a brass hammer to tighten it up. And if you look closely in the diagrams, you'll see how that works. Okay, so now what we have to do is take our new balance staff. And our new balance staff has to go into our stake kit, our stake setting. And we're going to get rid of this stake. And we have to put this in a certain way. So if you look at the, if you look at the balance staff, you'll see that it only goes in, there's a small little ridge. I'll try to get a picture of that. There's a small little ridge on the top. This little ridge right here, and I'll do a 3D diagram. The balance wheel will fit onto that, and this gets pressure fit onto the balance wheel. So what I have to do now is find a hole that this fits in without moving around so much but not too tight and it's this one right here and then we take our balance wheel and we put that on like this and you'll see it fits a little bit on a loose side and then I'm going to take a staking set and we're going to use a round tip staking set it's got a hole in it and it should fit over the should fit over the staff and just in, in comfort, the circumference around the uh, yeah. 
There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so now when I put pressure on this in a downward fashion, it's going to expand that little rim to put pressure onto the balance wheel shaft and then it'll hold it in place. And we don't have to tap it too much. Just enough. And you see I'm tapping it, it's spinning. When it stops spinning, we've done we've done our job. And there we go. Now if I pull this off, let's grab this. Hold that there, and we're in good shape. There's one more tool that I like to use to test and see if the balance wheel is straight onto the out of the staff. The balance wheel should be nice and tight. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this little claw and has little pin holes here. And what we do is we put the balance staff into this pin open it up just a little more if I if I unscrew this it opens up the claw I'm going to show you a little bit closer tighten it and you can see it clamps down and as we loosen it it opens up now this is a little tricky because you don't want to break this new balance staff so we're gonna just make sure that it's open enough Get it in the hole into this part here. Turn this very, very gently, and then get both ends of this balance staff. And now we're going to give it a spin. And what we're trying to do is let that spin and see if. We want this to spin as best we can and make sure that there's no oscillation in a, in a vertical manner, meaning it goes up and down when it's like this, which there's not, and it's looking pretty good. So I think we're in good shape to go to the next step. Take that out, we'll put our tool away. So real quick in this animation, I'm showing you the assembly procedure for the roller table. How we put the roller table onto the balance staff and then using a roller table stake, we're going to tap it down. There's a little groove in the stake that uh, protects the jewel there. And the roller table goes on the bottom. So let's get this set right there. Actually, I'm going to grab the roller table goes on the bottom. We're going to grab a small stake. I'm going to put the little pin there. Okay, let's grab our roller table. Now every watchmaker is a little different. There's probably somewhere written in a book a bunch of rules that make it easy for you to put these on. The roller table for alignment purposes just to make it easier in my mind I align the roller table from the hole where the staff is to the roller jewel along the shaft of the balance wheel. So it's a little tricky to get on here so we're going to get this on. And you're going to see it needs to be pressure fit. To pressure fit that we're going to use our roller stake and you can see it's got the hole for the balance staff and it has a cutout for the roller jewel and what we do is we put that on so that the there's the roller jewel right here and I'm going to put that on 
just like that. And now I'm going to tap using my brass hammer and we're going to tap that all the way down until it stops on the rim of the balance staff. And there we have the roller table installed onto the balance staff and you can see it's all the way down to the rim it's in good shape it's right where it's supposed to be now we're going to remove this pin again and we're going to grab our roller pin our roller pin looks like this it's just the reverse of the stake we're going to put that in place and now we insert the balance wheel right side up with the roller jewel fitting into the little groove that's right here it should fit in just like that and now we have to determine where our hairspring is going to align up with our balance wheel now I did cover this in a video before so go back and look at some of the videos but just simple what we got to do here is we draw a line from the jewels one two three and that's the line from that the roller jewel will be pointing in in this case the roller jewels here and then if we look at the position of the collet for the hairspring or the pin for the hairspring it would be at approximately the seven o'clock position. I'll do, do it from this camera. So we draw a line down here and it's like 6.30, 7 o'clock. It's not exactly six, almost. So we're going to start off in this in, in, at 180 degrees, the opposite direction of the roller jewel. The roller jewel here is on this side of the staff. So we'll take our collet our hairspring and we'll put that on the opposite side of the balance shift and I'm just going to put it right on top of the staff it's not going to go down easily what we have to do now is take a flat stake with a hole in it so that the staff fits in that hole and we're just going to push down ever so gently so gently and push that hairspring into position okay now if the hairspring is on good and I lift it up by the hairspring pin the balance wheel should be suspended and that's exactly what we have here and that's it that's how we change a balance staff on a watch it's as simple as that for a pocket watch. It is almost as simple on a wristwatch. The only issue that I have with wristwatches is because they're a third the size in some cases. You just have to go a little slower, take your time, and make sure you do it right. But again, if you line it all up correctly and everything goes in well, and you're using the exact same balance staff, then it's going to work perfectly and you just have to do the final alignment when you put the watch together that's it guys that's how we change a balance staff for a watch i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial changing a balance staff is not a difficult job but you will need some practice and you need the right tools i've included some amazon links for tools that i used in this video Check us out on our website, www.myjewelrybench.com. And if you like these videos and you want to keep them going, uh, this is a viewer-funded show, so uh, think about supporting us at Patreon. And any little bit you do can help. Happy watch hunting and happy watch fixing, guys.